The first World Cup went pretty well for me. I was fourth in the short track and fourth in the cross country. Czech Republic, the Nova Mesta World Cup, did not go quite so well. It's certainly been a team effort to get back to racing. I think I feel so grateful and fortunate to have the people around me that I do. We're all excited to be back racing uh, after a bit of a rough year last year, and uh, part of this year, it didn't look very promising, but uh, now we're here, finally racing the World Cup again. And uh, in particular with uh, Kate, you see a huge difference from last year when she just was missing a lot of self-confidence going into the World Cup. Not racing for more than a year really was something that was hard on her mind. I'm very proud of her actually making that, that change from the last year to this year was not easy to crawl out of the hole after last year's season. You have 100 coins. On this course, what you don't want is getting off the bike in the long, steep one. Yep. And when and you that's use like your coins, coins a lot. yeah, that's when you use your coins on other places where you're just as fast running, it saves you the coins for that. It's gonna be a super hard race if the conditions stay like this. So you have to really plan where you spend your money. When I show up to a race, having Frishy there on the ground to help me dial in the course is one of the biggest advantages I have. He is obviously one of the most experienced racers out there and has a really good eye for line choices and for, you know, understanding the overall profile of a course, which might mean like, oh, this is a really important section, this is where everything's gonna go down. Or, you know, this is a really important line that you need to hit just right every time. Everything from lines through slick roots and rocks or tire choice that might help me gain an advantage in those conditions, to also, when things are unrideable, helping me learn how to plan for and run a section. I'm trying to help her to get on course together and do technical skill trainings, and uh, here and there I can maybe help her a little bit with my background as a World Cup racer. I'd say from the day she came to Europe just one month ago to now starting the World Cup, uh, her technical skills are day and night. The morning of a race, it just feels like anticipation. Everyone is focused and a little bit quiet and a little bit nervous. Like at times, I just want to fast forward to standing on the start line. Once the lights go green, like that's my favorite part. So I was able to go over to Europe for seven weeks uh, to start the season, which is longer than I normally go over and certainly involved uh, way more race starts. So I lined up eight times and competed in some local races and then of course ended with the first two World Cups of the season. The first World Cup went pretty well for me. I was fourth in the short track and fourth in the cross country. Czech Republic, the Nova Mesta World Cup did not go quite so well. 
I had a really great start. My goal was to be up in that lead group and I was in the lead group for that start lap in the first lap and then I took a big crash. Coming around, Someone, someone's been down. There is a rider down. Who is it? it was hard to see it between the trees, but it was definitely a crash. Yeah, it was Kate that crashed and yep. Pauline uh, avoided her, I think. Okay. Well, let's hope she's okay. Had a bad time here last year and a bad time here this year as well. And it's Rebecca McConnell yep. comes into shot next. I broke my brake lever and we later found out I actually broke my arm also. And they've got the brake lever oh, off, so off. they're going to have to put a new whole master cylinder on there. And she had a really good start. She was on the third position when this happened. She's not going to be pushing for the win now, Bart, or even a podium spot. Not from there. Champions comeback felt more like the champion smackdown today. Coming away from that, it's certainly a bummer. Uh, I will be missing the next World Cup to allow this bone to heal. When we have those bad days, we don't pretend they weren't bad days and we don't, you know, try to gloss over them. Like we take ownership over that and it wasn't a great day. We didn't get the results we wanted. Um, but as a team, we're able to like put a time limit on that. Let that be the emotional experience it is, and then get back to work.